are you? Mm, welcome. Thank I know you. this looks like a prison door, a way to be I like Marvel. You. Okay? I cannot wait. <laughs> if I put this color behind my eyes, it makes them go a little green. But if you had won this in the bidding, would you have used it for a client or would you have used it in your oh, new house? No, I would have put this in storage and I would have waited till I had the right place. You would have waited till the it's end the of the Armageddon. Color. It's the perfect color for my color eyes. It is, that's true. You're right. I decorate with clients with that all the time. If somebody with has your, your eye color, color eyes or something, or blue eyes or something, I decorate everything around, around that. that. Not around your color. No. But around their I'm color. I'm not that self-obsessed. <laughs> this is one of your most favorite destinations in Los Angeles. That's definitely. I mean, it's, I think actually it's unique in America, very possibly unique in the world. First of all, it is a gigantic space. 40,000 square feet, did they say? I think so. I'm, I mean, that's hard even to wrap my brain around. It's gigantic. You have to bear in one thing in mind. This is not possible in a city like New York or Chicago or San mm -hmm. Francisco because there aren't the spaces available. There are people from all over America who come here just to shop at Joel Chan mm -hmm. because there's stuff for every epoch here. He has this sort of amazing eye. I mean, there's this amazing, truly eclectic mix, but everything has style. Everything I, so. I really, I, I, you could look for the entire store and not find an ugly thing. How do they get the best part? You, yeah, you're the you're the hot spot in town, according to Peter, which I totally yeah. love. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. This, oh yeah, this is a coffee covered thing. I mean, see, I like these great sofas that yes. are crazy, and but in this for the party, oh. I mean, it's like, yeah. they always cover things in the right thing. That's the amazing thing. And look at this. Mm. There's a pair of these. Wow. Isn't that cool? You feel like you're on the original Star Trek. I can't, can you go sit in that for a second? And with your glasses, I like your new glasses. No. Captain Kirk. Swing it around a little. On the USS Enterprise. Yeah. Like, this oh, I'm obsessed that. with. This is like an Italian bar. <gasps> it's geodesic, you know, fuller type. Do you feel that your clients, uh, when you talked about how vintage can give a history and a soul to a room, is that a hard sell often? I mean, I know people trust you to pick that. I think it's a good question. Most of the people who hire me, they know. get they, it. Yeah, and yeah. if not, they kind of get a little bit brainwashed by me because I kind of keep presenting options and explaining mm -hmm. why it's great. It's, I think 50% of what I do as a designer is as a salesman, like a glorified car salesman. I need to like get them in the mood and because I don't want to do something that they're necessarily familiar with. There mm -hmm. are designers who are great at it, and I talk about it at the shrink all the time. These are by Charlotte Parian. She worked with Corbusier and then went on her own. But these were made for a French ski resort called Les Arts that was built in the 70s. And all the lighting throughout the whole resort was these. Mm -hmm. And they're so cool because you can adjust them depending mm -hmm. on which angle you come from. I think they're such a cool thing. I've been skiing in Les Arts, so I've seen them in situ. Oh, and yeah, when I was young. And so it's fun to come across and things see like them that. And see, they in Los Angeles, it's, yeah. It's like found friends. Found friends. Oh, I love that. It's pop up with these poles. It kind of, it looks a bit like Prouvé again. Mm -hmm. But this is a vintage piece, I think. Yeah. Yes. It? I mean, imagine that opposite the bed with the big flat screen TV above. How sexy. I even love this crazy little wicker mirrored top table. I mean, why did somebody put mirrored top to wicker? But it looks great. Now that is something that I would think, Peter, you in a second. Mix it all yeah. in, you know. And this insane thing that looks like half like Giacometti, half like Madeleine Castin. Who the hell came up with that? But he finds these things. I mean, you see, to me, the role of vintage in design is kind of the soul the magic, the kind of profound object. But he has his finger on the pulse of taste really well.